Hey everyone, today's tapping session is going to be about tapping into your intuition. And we will be tapping out our limiting beliefs that our intuition isn't going to guide us or that we need to doubt it and second guess it, which most of us do quite often. So um, we are just going to go right into the tapping, right into tapping on the eyebrow. And so you're just going to tap where I do and you're going to repeat what I say. Although I was born with this ability, I doubt it so very often. I was born with intuition. But sometimes I wonder if it's really leading me. I get caught up in my head. And I forget to follow my heart. My heart and my intuition truly are one. My heart knows the way. If I would just get out of my head and get out of the way. I was born with the amazing gift of intuition. As a baby, I was so connected. I remembered God and my angels. I remembered where I came from. I remembered that I can't make a wrong decision. Each step of my journey is just the next step. It's not the final one. So I decide right now that I will trust my intuition. I allow my third eye to open wide. My third eye only enhances all of my other abilities. It enhances my ability to see, to see physically and on the spiritual level. It enhances my ability to hear divine guidance. As my third eye opens wide, it enhances my ability to feel. To feel God and my angels and loved ones close. So I decide right now to allow my third eye to shine bright. I let go of any doubt. I let go of any fear. I allow myself to be led from this point forward. It is safe for me to see. It is safe for me to know. It is safe for me to hear. It is safe for me to feel. I open up to all of my amazing abilities. All is well. All is well as I open up to all of my abilities. Thank you, God. Peace. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Letting out any baggage, any limiting beliefs, we're letting them all go. 
and just see if you feel a little different, maybe calmer, just more connected. Maybe you feel the presence of your angels and guides around you. Maybe you feel God shining down upon you. You were born with intuition. It will serve you. All you need to do is trust it. So anytime you want to work on opening up your abilities, even tapping into your third eye, your third eye, that, that psychic center, the eye in between your two physical eyes on your forehead, the third eye, when it is wide open, it only enhances all of our other skills and abilities, all of our other senses. That's what it does. So allow that to be wide open. Listen to the meditation because it's a meditation to help you open your third eye. If anything gets uncomfortable, some people have told me that they've gotten headaches or feel a strain in this area as they're trying to work with the third eye and get it open. I'm going to do real quick a little tapping for that. I just want you to any... Okay, so as this journey continues, any issues, if your ears start ringing or closing up or you're having issues with your ears, if you're having headaches, if your or headaches here, or if your eyes are starting to bother you, like pain in your eye or strain, then simply do a tapping session just for that. And all you, this is, I do this often actually. So you would just tap in the points. So say you're having issues here in your eyes and your forehead and maybe it's feeling strained or you're actually having headaches. So you would just say, it is safe for me to see. It is safe for me to see. It is safe for me to be open to my abilities. It is safe for me to see divine love in all forms. It is safe for me to see and maybe you want to close your eyes if you ever have to do this one. It is safe for me to see. It is safe for me to see. And I would keep going around and around on the tapping points until that, until that eases and then just end at the top and just all is well. All is well. All is well. And I know I said end at the top, but just for that one, for some reason, I felt guided to say that. In any of these tapping sessions, it doesn't matter where you end. There's no right spot or place. I was just guided at that moment that that's where you were to end for the it's safe for me to see. Um, again, if you're having problems with the ears, you would do, you know, it's safe for me to hear. It is safe for me to hear divine guidance in all its forms. It's safe for me to hear loving uh, guidance from above. It's safe for me to hear. You can just tap and say it's safe for me to hear, it's safe for me to see, it's safe for me to know, it's safe for me to feel. Like you could just say those four. It's safe for me to see, it's safe for me to hear, it's safe for me to know, it's safe for me to feel. You can do all of that. Some people actually their sense of smell starts waking up. Um, it's safe for me to smell. You know, sometimes I smell perfume or cologne or a floral scent. And I, for me, I mean, that's guidance. I know who that is. And so anything like that, that either is uncomfortable or it's freaking you out a little bit, or you just really want this to be smooth and easy going, um, just tap it out. Say exactly what's going on. You know, I release this tension in my head. I release this tension in my eyes. It's safe for me to see. I release this ringing in my ears. It's safe for me to hear. Anything you're doing. So I want you to start, instead of just relying on me to, to copy everything I say, I want you to start understanding the tapping. So you are, you know, releasing what it is that's bothering you. So I'm releasing the ringing in my ears that it's safe for me to hear. Okay? All right, so tap as often as you need it, and um, I wish you easy opening to all of your abilities, and I can't wait to hear about all of uh, that happens for you, the changes that you go through. God bless. Namaste.